Hello, and welcome to Total War Warhammer, and I have another 2v2 with Assad and Unknown. I, I just really enjoy playing with these guys, and um, I decided that after after two losses, it was it was okay to pull out some cheese. Like, <laughs> after you've won, after you've lost two times, and you know you have an ally that's a complete noob, it, it's okay to pull out some cheese. So... I, I don't. You probably know Air of Carthage. Um, he's he's been uploading some videos about about this build. It is it is called the Death Star, and it it looks like this. <laughs> it I mean it it doesn't look like that much. Like I just have a few troops in here. When when you take a look, this is ten units of Karn Wraiths, and they all have sides of death. Now, you'll think that this just gets surrounded immediately, but there's there's a trick to this. So, um, yeah, my ally just brought one type of everything. You can tell that they're new, but it's okay, because I brought an extremely, extremely cheesy build, and, um, this is probably even... This is, unlike Lore of Death, this is quite interesting in how it works. Uh, you, you'll see. It, it's really cool. So I just wanted to try it out after seeing quite a few videos on Air of Carthage's channel. So, uh, Carl Franz and his two captains are hovering above. Uh, so Assad and Unknown have brought similar armies every time, which is not good for them because they're gonna get torn up by these great swords. I mean, by these turn race. So I charge in, and you can you can say, "Well, I'm just gonna get surrounded. My allies <laughs> nowhere to be seen. I'm just gonna get torn apart." But then, my necromancer gets to cast. You'll see, invocation of Nehek. And when I overcast it, so it increases the effect area, and I believe it increases the duration of it as well. So. These guys, even though they're taking damage, no matter how much damage they take, they're healing it right back. Um, because uh, Invocation of the Heck just heals hit points. And it, it's it's kind of how the, the undead works, and it's, it's, it's nice to see that with the undead. And they're taking a lot of damage here, but they're healing it right back. Uh, just because I'm I'm raising the hit points back up, so uh, we can see Kolik. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can tell this guy's a noob. Just Kolik's under goes down into in a hot few seconds. But I have taken almost no damage on all of my units, and I have routed two, three units of great swords. So, um, Invocation Neck going off again, just to make sure I don't take any damage whatsoever, because I'm starting to get surrounded. But, um, yeah, th this is very cheesy. I will admit, it is cheesy. <laughs> uh, no matter how much fire they put in, they will not do anything to these Karn Wraiths. They are untouchable. Still have 60 men full HP right now. And they also cause terror, which, which helps them fight units. Yeah, car race by themselves are not, not that great. But with the invocation of the heck, they're they're very good. So you can see. Assad and Unknown are trying to surround me. It just doesn't do anything. I don't care if I'm surrounded. In fact, that's fine because I'll be able to turn around and attack them from more directions. I'm also trying to get outflank penalties with my zombies right now, so they route quicker. But yeah, uh, now he's just parking up by side, behind me, like he did with the Black Orcs. But I mean, think about it. These are ethereal units, and a bullet just goes right through them. They take very little missile damage. 
So, uh, I'm also spreading out my unification to heck. I'm not doing it one at a time immediately, so that I don't run out of uh, Winds of Magic too soon. So, just to make sure these handgunners don't don't pester me forever, I send my my healing current rates in to take them out. Because although I want to be surrounded, I don't really want to be surrounded by uh, gun units. So uh, this is very good to do magical damage because that's how you kill uh, Karn Wraiths with magical damage. Ethereal units uh, take less physical damage. But the problem is, is that I'm healing so quickly, it's not going to matter a few spells. Here's Manfred leading the, the troops. And uh, here's my my Banshee. Yeah, I'm I'm chasing off these these gunmen so they don't they don't take me down. But look, th these guys are completely terrified by these ghosts with with scythes. But uh, yeah, the reason I chose to do this cheese build is I'd lost twice. My ally was almost completely useless, and I wanted to see if I could take a, a two v one on. And as you can see, it's doing quite well so far. The 2v1 is... It's not... not bad. So the Empire comes down, descend... Oh no, this is our Zargel. Uh, that, that's not a good choice. Yeah, he's getting out of there quickly. So yeah, just chasing off, now uh, attacking Demigriff Knights, because these these guys might do some damage, but not when they're just getting ganked like this. But yeah, now, now that he chose to land Brothzar Gell, he's just going to get uh, completely surrounded and crushed by everyone I have. And yeah, I mean, you have handgunners, but I'm not going to do anything. Also, in Era of Carthage's videos, he uh, he brought Crypticals, and it's it's just as easy to bring more Karen Rays, and um, they they don't get hit by handgunners as as easily either. So, uh, taking down Demigriffs, taking down Great Swords, and now uh, what's really cool about this right now is all of these Karen Rays have a speed of. 48, which is extremely fast. It's faster than pretty much any other infantry unit, and they don't get limited by terrain. So they're almost like cavalry. It's just a huge blob that I can, I can just swing around anywhere. And now I've united my two forces, and it's like a a, a wrecking ball just going around the entire field with impunity because it can disengage from pretty much any fight besides cavalry, and even then, it, it might be able to. Yeah. Uh, doing Master of the Black Arts to increase my power reserve. And all this time I haven't done Invocation Deck for a while because I'm just not taking that much damage right now. Um, but yeah, these guys are terrified of... Uh, who would not be terrified of an army of ghosts? My zombies are just getting torn apart like they they need to be so my ally is dead except for some some warhounds and uh, I don't know who is this but is completely routed the yellow the, whatever. so uh, these demi groups Knights want some more action and they're gonna get more action they will indeed get more action. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm getting all the time to to increase my power reserve. And invocation of neck goes off again. And these outriders will not be able to do anything. For Eunice, <laughs> they're they're getting 
And I, I dodged this, this searing doom. And now I'm just going straight for blood. Yeah, attack the mortals. <laughs> These guys are full health and charging straight in. Just look at the the forest of scythes. So, uh, they they try to land here. They, uh, Carl friends land here, and it was an okay decision. And they cast a bunch of other things like blood roar, transmutation of lead, a bunch of things. But when you have uh, overcast invocation to heck, it, it doesn't it doesn't do that much. Yes, they're doing damage, but I still have seven wins of magic left, and I can do it. I can do invocation to heck again if I want to. I don't. I don't even need to. This is a, this is a, this is an okay attempt. It's a valiant attempt to take down a Death Star. But if you if you do it properly, it's practically invincible. And as you saw, my ally did almost nothing, and I still was able to to pull this out. All the abilities, all of the rear charges, not not going to do anything. Everything in the perfect position. You think this Banshee cares? You think this Banshee cares? No, no, not at all. <laughs> All life must end. Okay. Now, ah, whatever. So, Carl Franz in the middle. Uh, doing everything he can, but it is it's not enough. The terror is just insane. Slaughter them! Unhealed God's macabre! So, yeah, be careful when you. of the vampires. It is not yet another reason to be afraid of the vampires now. Not only can they do Spirit Legion and all all of their crap they could do before, but now they can do this, <laughs> which can defeat a 2v1. So, yeah, I don't know what to say. This is... I thought it was fair for me to do it right here. But all, all the magical attacks you want, it's, it's not going to matter. No, you did a you did a tiny bit of damage to me. Ooh, I'm so scared. So um, yeah, vampire counts OP as heck. Very very OP. But I mean, this is at least more interesting than the than the other the other cheese with Spirit Leech. Yeah, no damage taken at all except on my zombies. Ooh, 245 kills, 111 kills, but um, yeah, they they could not they could not touch this, can't touch this.